Welcome to this short video tutorial on push button programming the SPOD M wall switch. Before we begin, let's look at the SPOD M features we'll be using to program. First, the LED is located on the right side of the push button. This will be our primary indicator used to program. The on off button is what we'll use to actually program the switch. Next, we need to understand the process of entering the programming mode reading the current settings, and programming a new setting. The programming instructions and settings can be found on the specification sheet, which comes in the box with the switch, or it can be downloaded from the Acuity Brands website. The first few times you do push button programming, you want to read through the process completely prior to doing any programming. You may want to create a short script or crib sheet to use until you're proficient at the programming process. Timing and sequence are important pause too long between button presses and you may be dropped out of the programming mode. To enter the programming mode, we simply hold down the on-off push button until the LED flashes rapidly. Then press the push button the number of times that corresponds to the function number of the setting you're interested in. Two times for function two, for example. When you enter the function, the LED will blink the current setting 10 times. For example, if I entered function two for on mode, the LED will blink one time to let me know the current setting is setting 1, which is the default on mode of automatic on. It will repeat the one blink 10 times with a short pause in between. If I just want to know what the setting is, I can just let it continue to the end and it will automatically exit the programming mode. If I want to change the setting, I need to enter the new setting before the 10th blink back is complete. Upon entering the new setting, the LED will blink back the new setting 10 times. Before it finishes the 10th blink back, you need to exit the programming mode and save the setting or it will not keep the setting. To exit the programming mode, simply press and hold the push button until the LED begins to rapid flash. Then release and enter the function number again. This tells the SPOD M that the setting is final and you want to save it. The LED will blink twice to let you know that the setting was accepted. The available functions and settings for the SPOD M is limited to the on mode function, which allows you to select manual on or automatic on. Here we see the on mode function for the SPOD M is function 2, and a single pole switch only has two settings auto on, setting 1, which is default, or manual on, setting 2. So, Find the setting you want to change and write them down on your short script or crib sheet. Next, we need to understand that the LED, when not in the programming mode, will indicate the status of the push button, on or off. So now I'm going to program my SPOD M for an on mode of manual on using my short crib sheet, which looks something like this. To enter the programming mode, I press and hold until the LED performs a rapid flash. Then I release and press the button two times for the on mode function. Note the LED starts flashing the current setting of 1, which is automatic on. It will blink back the current setting 10 times. After a few blink backs, I enter the new setting by pressing the button twice for the manual on setting. Note the LED is flashing the new setting and will repeat the blink back 10 times. Before the 10th time, I want to exit and save by pressing and holding the button until the LED begins to rapid flash. Then, I release the button and enter the function number for on mode by pressing the button twice. The LED will blink twice to let me know the new setting was accepted. 